What's on your mind, Lewis? Hey, Rory. Good evening, mate. How are you, mate? Uh, yeah, another underwhelming, as you said there, uh, win for United today. It's no surprises. I thought we'd probably get the win, but it'll only be by one goal. That's, that's all we ever seem to win this season in the league is by one goal margin. And, and usually it's, it's a terrible performance to boot with it, you know. But Does that I, matter? You know, when you I, think about what's been I, happening at Manchester United, you know, you've actually managed to lose more games than you've won up until today. You'd managed to lose more games than you've won this season. Does anything else matter aside from the three points today? No, I get it. It's a win. We'll take it. But come on, you look at the bigger picture, right? It's, it's, we've been, all season, it's been rubbish football. It's terrible to watch. A lot of those points have gotten the ball. That's actually are quite lucky. We could have easily lost or drawn half of those 1-0 wins we've had this season. You know, it's, it's not convincing. It's not like, oh, yeah, United deserve to win today. It, it, when was the last time we, we, we swept the team aside and, and played good football you know, and one three, four, five nil. Well, do you league. know what's funny you say that, Lewis? Do you know why it's funny you say that? From from the old days when we were winning trophies, you know, yeah. to see that sort of form result. Well, what's what's interesting about you saying that you're not sweeping anyone aside? I I, I did a little bit of maths earlier, which isn't my forte, but yeah. Rashford, Hoyland, Garnacho, Anthony, Sancho, and Anthony Martial. Think of the names there. Think of the prestige that comes with those names. We're going to say them again, right? Say, Rory, Rashford, Hoyland, say, Garnacho, Anthony, Sancho, Anthony Martial. They have one yeah. goal between them in the I league. Know. I know. I know. I raised this point last week on the sports bar. I've got, I've got the stats here. Yeah, one goal between all, all of those players. Lindelof, Delow and Varane have got three goals between them. <laughs> and, and, and those goals, they got real winners. You know, Hoyland's got goals, a few goals in the Champions League, but they all came in games we lost. He hasn't, he hasn't scored in the league yet, but he's the only bright spot. What about Mason Mount? Why did we buy Mason Mount off you boys? A complete waste of money. You know, we didn't need him. He's done nothing. Zero goals as well, no assists. Are you losing patience with Ten Hag here, Lewis? Because when you start talking, when you start talking about Mount, that's a Ten Hag move, isn't it? Uh, yeah, a lot of these signings haven't worked. I, I've lost patience. There's no progression. We're well into November now. We're out of the League Cup. We're, we're, we're not in the title race. We know that. We're probably out of the Champions League. Um, yeah, that, that season we're not going to get top four, Rory. So t- for me, he's full of excuses. Ten Hag, you know, he, he tries to convince everybody. Oh yeah, you know, we'll get when we get players back, we'll turn the form. Rashford starts scoring. You know, be patient, trust the process. He it sounds it's like a rinse and repeat in his press conferences before and after games. The same old thing he drops out. Where, you, you, the, it's not changing. It's not going to change. Lewis, I've got it's a stat for you. Listen to this. this is, I've, I've just been presented with this stat and it's blown my mind. I think this is going to cheer you up but really surprise you. As it stands, on, Manchester United are the most informed team in the league at the moment. Manchester United have picked up more points over the last five games than anyone else. That's four wins in five oh, games. Well, come on, Rory. Rory that's Smoke and mirrors that, isn't it? You, you, yeah, of course it is. You can always find some sort of stat that will make it sound like we're playing amazing football or we're on form or we're, we're, we're going to you know, do well this season. It, it, you know, I hear these stats, old Ten Hag's you know, first 50 wins or something as uh, United managers got there the quickest. I mean, it's, it's, just, it's another so what stat. You know, you've got to scratch the surface a bit. Look at the bigger picture. It's rubbish. We are not going to win anything this season. The best hope is the League Cup. We're out of that now. You know, even if we drop them to Europa League, I can't see us winning that because there's Liverpool in there and there's going to be some other better teams dropping in the Champions League. Rory, it's a disaster. Ten Hag won't get the sack because as long as we've still got half a chance of top four from the owner's point of view, he ain't going to get the sack. Do, do, you, know what, what do, want, do you know what, Lewis? A text, a text message has just come in from Tim here, a Manchester United fan, and he said, trust the gaffer, what choice do we have? Is there any is there any truth in that? What else can be done? Some United fans are going to stick with him and just think it will come good or they're just easily pleased. But for me, I'm a realist. It's not going to change. Ten Hag for me. I wanted it to work, but it's not, I'm afraid. I know we've got injuries. But all teams have got injuries. But it, 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 it won't work. I think we need to just get through this season and relook at it in the summer. There's better managers out there. There's better managers who are doing better and they've been there less time at their club in the Premier League, like Deserby. Uh, like Emery, for example. Um, Angelotti might be free in the summer as well. So I think 10 out jobs is safe unless we go on some real bad losing streak in the league. But we've got tough games coming after international break, Rory. We've got Galatasaray away, Everton away, uh, Newcastle yeah. away, then we've got Liverpool and Bayern Munich not long after that as well. So we could be coming back to a real poor run 
Yeah, yeah it's going to be tough. It is going to be tough, Lewis. Lewis, just around. before I let you go, can I just hear yeah, your go. thoughts on Marcus Rashford? Do you think that he needs to be starting every game? Do you think Ten Hag's getting it wrong? Do you hold Rashford accountable for his form? What on earth has happened there? He was sensational last no. year. This time last year, he's yeah, probably the best player yeah. in the league. What is going on? Yeah, but- well, you, yeah, but Rory, actually, when you break it down, it, it wasn't the whole season he was sensational. It was only after the World Cup. He had about two and a half, three months after the World Cup where he had this amazing purple patch. But really, when you, when you look at Rashford's stats and his goals over the last five years, six years, he, he does have the odd purple patch every two and a half, three years. But then he'll go on a massive drought. I think at the moment he's he scored four goals in 30 games if you go back to the, the end of last season. And this season, as we know, he's only got one, and that came in the 3-1 defeat to Arsenal. So it's no surprise for me. He does go on these droughts. He will come good again. He will go, you know, get some goals eventually. But, you know, last season, it was, was, was only for three months, really, where he scored the bulk of those goals, Rory. It wasn't across the whole season, you know? Yeah. So, uh, but then the season before, I think he only got four or five goals in the league. So... He is streaky. That's his, you know, that's his form. That's, that's who he is. Absolutely. But no, there's too, there's too many players there, Roy. You look at with some money we've spent, half a billion pound roughly in the last, what, three, four, five years, and you look at that team and you think, this is probably one of the worst Man United teams we've assembled in, in, in modern day. You know, most of those players are not good enough. They're not... I mean, look at Anthony. What a waste of money he is. Yeah, no they're, doubt. They're, they're just, they're, 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 it's just it's a disaster. We need to spend probably another half a million <laughs> to, to get even anywhere close to being back in a realistic title race. Oh, and yeah, I agree. Enough. I do agree, Lewis. I think that that was, that was passionate stuff there from Lewis, and I uh, really did appreciate that call. 